this is Melly K. It's Tuesday, May 9th, 2017. It's about 9 o'clock in the morning. I'm here about 30 miles south of the Oroville Dam. And I'm standing where I'm usually standing for my comparison videos at the river. Today the river's about 44 feet deep. Usually, right up ahead, you'll see the sand. The water is right about up to here. Uh, and all of that is covered in water, or has been in my last videos where I've been documenting the river rise based on what's coming out of Oroville. Let me walk down to the riverbank. Oh, over here, you can see in the distance, right there, that rock, is my measuring device. And last time I was here, or a couple of times before maybe, it was nearly submerged in the water. And if you look straight up that way, Oroville's up there about 30 miles upstream. It's going to be about 90 degrees today. Across the way is where the Yuba River flows in. So I'm going to keep walking here. And keep in mind this is usually all wet when the river is up over its banks when they're spilling uh, 30 to 45,000 cubic feet per second. They're going to start releasing water again tomorrow. Right now, the spillway is not releasing water, and we're getting a little under 8,000 cubic feet per second. The Hyatt Power Plant is putting out about 8,000, and we're getting most of that. I think the actual amount today is 7,700 cubic feet per second in river releases. See some boats out here. River's flowing pretty gently. Down this way is downstream. That's where the water is headed for Sacramento. And if you'll notice, the riverbank is pretty well defined in this area. It's dried out pretty well because there's a lot of sand here. If you look down, down there, Still quite a bit of mud and silt and branches. Those are always here at this area. Flood stage here is 80 feet. Flood watch stage is 65 feet. And as I said, it's about 44 feet right now. So they plan to start releasing again early tomorrow morning. It'll take the water a little time to get here, but I wanted to record today just so I can capture this 44 foot level because that's about the lowest we've seen it in a while. And it's been pretty stable at a little under 8,000 cubic feet per second river releases. So it's been right around there for, for a bit, giving these banks a little time to, to dry before it starts. Uh, rising again and I'll pan around and you can see this area here it's all dry up there's the levee not quite as green up at the top of the levee as it has been being in the rainy season summer's coming so it's a nice day out here and that's the path that I'm usually on only I can't get down here when um, when they're releasing 35,000 cubic feet per second or or more so we'll see what 30,000 cubic feet per second releases do after it gets time to get here and sort of stabilize don't know how long that release is going to be So let me just 
show you the water again. Here comes a boat. Boats, of course, create some turbulence and waves. I hope you will like, subscribe, and share my video. And I really appreciate your viewing. So there you go. See you later.